to the sawmill, friends. It's Monday. We got a lot going on this week. Right now, we're going to jump in the tractor, head down to the log yard, and get some logs. I got something I've not showed on this channel in probably three or four years. I'm not even sawed it up in that long, guys. I've been looking for this timber for a long time. Actually, I found some the other day that I forgot I had, so we'll throw that on the mill here first. So we've got a lot going on this week, a lot of logs going on the sawmill. Me and Dad's going to be working on the timber frame, and actually, here in about... Gosh, here in about 30 minutes, I got a load of pine coming in. So stick here with me, friends. It's going to be a good day. Alright guys, before we get going here, in the first log we're going to be sawing today after this one right here is going to be an eastern red cedar. More on that here in just a minute. But first, I've got to finish up this walnut log from the last video. I'm not even up here guys since we sawed last week. I've been busy on the barn down there with Dad. But I've got one more cut to make here. We'll do one more nine quarter slab and we might throw some water on it because this right here is the most highly figured walnut log I've ever saw, guys. If you didn't see that video, there's a link in the description down below. Go check it out. So we'll do one cut on this one, take a look at it, and move on to the cedar. Sit here with me, guys. It's going to get good really early here in this video. This walnut was fantastic. Alright guys, this old thing is heavy right here and that went pretty good. I think we got a good possibility with another slab having three crotches in it right here. One at the top, right here, and maybe one at the bottom. 
and probably some more curls showing up here once we take it outside and throw some water on it. So I think what we're gonna do, instead of dropping the water on it in here and making a mess, I gotta work in here for a few hours. We'll throw this on the tractor, take it out here in the middle of the yard and uh, do it under the sun with no shadows or nothing going on. Sometimes guys, this stuff looks 10 times better than what you all are seeing due to the lights in here and the shadows and the color changes in these lenses and stuff. And it's just, uh, it really doesn't do it justice at all, people. I'm telling you, these things are so nice. And uh, if you're here in person, you know what I'm talking about. Man, this thing's heavy. Where's dad when I need him? I'm up here by myself today. Heavy stuff. That's one thing I hate about these slabs is handling them. Man, they're heavy. Right, friends finally got this one loaded up and uh, this might be a good one right here eastern red cedar a lot of people call this juniper around here in northeast Tennessee we call it eastern red cedar a lot of people will tell you that it's not really a cedar it's a juniper well around here you know it is what it is so we call it red cedar and everybody knows what we're talking about now with cedar it's really a puzzle and the reason being, there's not only a lot of knots on cedar. I mean, we got knots everywhere. Knots aren't really a defect on cedar because eastern red cedar is going to have knots everywhere. That's just the way it is. They don't really have no degrading because of knots. But the reason this is a puzzle is because you never know if a cedar is going to be nice and solid in the middle or have a bunch of void streets. Usually with a cedar this size right here, I did not check the diameter. It's an eight footer. And uh, real fast, we're looking at 19 inches down here on the operator side. The other side kind of crotches out. I'm not sure what's going to be going on down there when we open up this log. It may turn into a mess. But with cedar, when you open it up, you may be thinking you're going to be doing six by sixes or eight by eight posts or something, but you open it up and you got void pockets everywhere on it and you end up turning it into boards trying to get the best yield that you can. So today I have no expectations on this cedar. I'd like to get some maybe five quarter boards out of it, but we just don't know. You know, you just have no idea on stuff like this, guys. But we will get this one opened up and see what's inside of it. Stick here with me, friends. It's going to be a first here on my LT40 sawing up some cedar and the first time I've sawed cedar in about four years. <laughs> 